2011 study showed that there's 19 types of bacteria that exist on every surface of the bathroom. And most terrifying, even after you've washed your hands, the door handle out. Hey guys, I'm V Lobs, and this is the Technophiles Newscast. If you all have fears of touching gross bathroom door handles, I have some good news for you. At the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair last May, two students presented a door handle that cleans itself. The two students, Sun Ming Wan and Ken Pong Lee from Hong Kong, have created a glowing bathroom door handle that eliminates all bacteria that comes into contact with it. The way this works is that the glass cylinder of the handle is coated in a bacteria-killing mineral called titanium dioxide. It's known as a photocatalyst, so when it's exposed to light, it can interact with either water or oxygen to create hydroxyl radicals, which are known as the detergent of the chemical world. And that is how this project works. The students put an LED light in the handle so the chemical is activated and now it serves both a hygienic purpose and an aesthetic purpose. Yay! But even cooler is that the LED is powered by the movement of the door. There's a gearbox attached to it so the movement of the door charges up the LED so it can self-sustain. Hydrox radical! Do people do this? So not only is this invention really innovative and frankly super cool looking, it's also really cost effective. All the materials used for it cost about $13 total. These high schoolers won second place in the material sciences category and got them $1,500. Way to go, guys! I can see these going up in like nightclubs and stuff because they look so cool, but they could also go in like places that make sense, like hospitals or nursing homes. So what else do you think this self-cleaning technology can be applied to? Give us your ideas in the comments below or tweet it at us at TechnophilesPod. You can also look us up on Facebook by searching Technophiles Podcast or go to technophilespodcast.com. Next week, David and his marvelous collection of dad sweaters will be here. Until then, I'll see you later. So I only really participated in one science fair in like sixth grade. Everybody else had really cool like mail delivery shoots or bazookas or something or some sort of rotating fork for your magic spaghetti. I had a bed that made itself using a series of pulleys. Um, and while it looked cool on a doll bed, if you did this in real life, you would probably strangle yourself on the corners of the sheets where you attach the rope while you're sleeping.